Meet Kerala, a land blessed with hill ranges, rivulets, paddy fields, backwater lagoons, evergreen forests, a string of golden beaches and fine weather, abundantly nursed by two monsoons, nourished by 44 rivers. God's own country, the lush green turf in the southern tip of the Indian Peninsula. Development experts are often startled by the state's ranking in human development indices. The average male, female first life expectancy in this land is 75 years. For the woman, this is 78 years. Female male ratio is high at 1,084 women for every 1,000 men. The only state in India with positive sex ratio. Maternal mortality rate is 4.6 per 10,000 live births. Infant mortality rate is just 6% per 1,000 live births. Kerala, which enjoys universal literacy, universal education, and a universal healthcare system is a welfare state that ensures social security cushion to the elderly. Harmony, sense of democracy, and secular spirit are the sterling values that its educated people cherish. It excels in technical education, human resources, and infrastructure facilities. Besides the national highway stretches, the state is well connected from every nook and corner by road and rail. It has four international airports, national waterways, Cochin Port, and LNG Terminal, a container transshipment terminal. Asia's largest mother port is also getting ready at Visinjam, with close access to SAFE. South Africa Far East Optic Fiber Submarine Cable, uninterrupted internet connectivity, plethora of smartphones, IT Techno Parks, Life Science Park, Techno City, and 100% certification. The state is on the forefront in technology absorption. It is on the path to second generation modernization. Kerala is investment ready and calls out to potential partners worldwide to give a hand through Kerala Infrastructure Investment Fund Board, KIFBI. Kerala is revving up for its next development leap. This little state had always thrown her shores open to international travelers, red carpeting them to a paradise of hospitality. Unique feature of Kifbi is that it is not for any specific infrastructure project, but uh, general infrastructure building in Kerala that funds are being mobilized by Kifbi. And mind you, most of these projects are not revenue earning in the narrow sense, but is a business model behind Kifbi. How does Kifbi ensure the repayment? Now, the Kifbi legislation says that government of Kerala will pay every year to Kifbi the petroleum cells and half the motor vehicles tax. Now the project purpose will be for the Kifbi is to borrow 50,000 crores or rupees in the coming 4-5 years to for infrastructure building. Now we have made calculations which shows that 
the government grant annual grant given to kfb by legislation um, say within a period of 15 years uh, uh, would be sufficient to pay for the principal and the interest kfb has been rendering magic on kerala development The colossal portion of Kiffy's investment goes to build infrastructure. Some of the major projects that Kiffy has undertaken are Petrochemical and Pharma Park. Kerala Fiber Optic Network, Coastal Highway, Hill Highway, Transgrid 2.0 Power Highway, and Thiruvananthapuram Life Sciences Park. To prepare human resources, the basic core advantage of Kerala for tomorrow, the amenities in all schools need to be upgraded. All classrooms need to be made high tech. In Kerala, the government gives priority to bolstering the health of its human resources. the three features of the task that we have taken up in kfb the first is the quantum of funds that we are handling 10 billion dollars us dollars that is about 60 to 70000 crores worth of infrastructure investment the second is the tremendous diversity of the portfolio that we are going to build in kerala and the third is quality assurance now handling quantum and diversity has its own uh you know complexities but handling quality in a project that is actually underway is perhaps the biggest challenge for us because unless we ensure quality first of all this is public money and public money has got to be spent for the public ensuring quality the second aspect is this is a public asset and there are a lot of safety features which have got to be built in and unless quality is ensured right from the appraisal stage to the execution stage the assets will not it will not be fair to the to the people of kerala to build assets which are substandard or which are below quality therefore one of the focus one of the key focus areas in kfb in 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 our approach to infrastructure construction has been to massively invest in in quality control kerala chief minister is the chairman of kfb Finance Minister is the Vice Chairman, Chief Secretary, Vice Chairman of the State Planning Board, Secretaries of Law, Finance and Revenue, and seven experts named by the government are the members besides the CEO who is the Secretary of the Board. There is also an executive panel chaired by Finance Minister, apart from a fund trustee and advisory commission to oversee the operations. These layers of expert monitoring ensures 100% security and credibility to the investments. Kerala or Kifbi became the first state in the entire country to launch the masala bonds in London and in Singapore and this is one important and landmark issuance that we did in the month of March where we raised 2150 crore rupees from international investors with an anchor investor uh, which was a well known uh, pension fund. um of course this was a landmark transaction but it also gave us important wisdom and education in the entire process of international issuances and this experience will come in very handy as we go forward with kfb's further uh, fundraising programs not only in the international market from international investors but also our domestic bond and domestic fundraising programs targeting domestic investors it is a masala bond model of investment that kfb offers to citizens from other countries to partner in kerala's development instead of ordinary bonds that collect money in dollars A masala bond is denominated the Indian currency rupee. It is the International Financial Corporation (IFC) that gave the name masala bond. Now NRA chitti is one of the simplest instrument which is very familiar to every Malayali all over the globe. It is a saving instrument which gives you better return than say your deposit in the bank. 
and it has also added benefits from for the city subscribers now what we are intending is the city generates considerable free float uh, or security deposit which will be automatically invested in kfp nri bonds nri city bonds and um, will be utilized for the infrastructure development apo keralathinte വികസനത്തിന് ആവശ്യമായ ഏറ്റവും വലിയൊരു സാമ്പത്തിക സ്രോതസ്സായിട്ടാണ് കിഫ്ബിയെ കണ്ടിട്ടുള്ളത് ഇതിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമാകാൻ ഓരോ മലയാളിയും അഭിമാനപൂർവ്വം തയ്യാറാകും എന്ന് തന്നെയാണ് ഞാൻ പ്രതീക്ഷിക്കുന്നത് Let's hold hands to make this God's own country a paradise. The people of Kerala will cherish your participation and synergy with utmost respect and warmth. <laughs>